more people lie on the internet than I think that ever would lie in real life. That's right. People lie on the internet. Which is why I think it's funny that it annoys you to have people catfish on that game. Because they're literally doing, uh, like, the thing. They're doing the thing! It's annoying. Why do people have to lie so much? Uh, why can't you just be a good person? Because good is subjective and nobody figured out how to do it, so we just don't even try anymore. That's ridiculous. People are ridiculous. That's why I avoid them and do puzzles with my mom. Oh. Frank is fun. I like him a lot. Well, I, I can also see it would be kind of fun, especially if you're like a female that's gotten a lot of attention for your looks your whole life. I think it would be fun to see, just like be your personality but use other pictures and just see if like your looks actually do as matter as much. And that I would think, be an interesting. I think that would be fun. I would definitely. I think that would be just fun to do, just to see. And I don't know if that would be healthy to do, but, uh, just for your mental health, but, but, like, it would be interesting to see, like, am I likable because I'm pretty, or am I likable because I have a decent, like, personality? Right. That's why I feel like a lot of opportunities, like, there's a lot of missed opportunities in this game. And, like, we don't get to see all the conversations, because they obviously edit it down to whatever's interesting to the producers, but... It is interesting. It's interesting to see the people gravitate, because there's, like, sometimes whenever, like, like, the Krista chick that's in this season, mm -hmm. like, she says stuff, and I'm just like, I don't understand your personality. Like, I just don't, her, I, she doesn't make sense to me as a human being, and I think it's just because of how they've edited her, but, like, every time she says something or she chooses something, I'm like, I did not see that coming. Did not fucking see that coming. <laughs> She's interesting. I like, I think I like the whole cast. There's nobody that I really hate. Sing something. <laughs> Jimmy turned it on to watch. Nice. It, it's a good show. I like it. I can't imagine Dad watching it. My dad would probably watch it. No. My my biggest problem with that game is how many, like, 20-somethings there are. Like, it'd be much more interesting to have a bunch of adults in it. But, like, adults. 30-somethings and older. Millennials. It would be interesting to have millennials because they grew up in social media, so I don't know. I think Gen Zers are a lot more flip it, flip it about social media. Do you like googers over here? <laughs> that, that's what's been on my F4 view for a while. Do you like googers over here? Do you like bad girls over here? I don't think that's on We are not page. on the same for you pages. The, it, it started because some guy was like... Uh, what did it start? It's like... Guys don't like slutty women. And oh. the guy was like, wrong! We like googers over here! We like bad girls over here! <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do that, it's okay. Oh. That's so funny. Yeah, you know, there was a line in the book, and no, I'm going to butcher it, but um, that women like romance novels. It doesn't mean we want that in our exactly. lives. It just means we like the fantasy of the romance novel. Yeah, like, I, I was watching a reaction video to some incel dating bullshit and i was like this guy read a one whole ass romance novel was like manuscript let's go That's and i'm like no, no. <laughs> they do, it's, women do not want that. it's fiction for a goddamn yes. reason <laughs> we we like the fantasy of it we don't want real i mean life. maybe there's some a couple things but like nobody mm -hmm. wants to be kidnapped to fall in love with that person it's a fucking fantasy yeah book. and no one wants to be assaulted no like, it's a fantasy it's only okay because it's not real exactly and there is even some things in romance books that aren't real that's still not okay yes agreed 
because your mom is awesome. Y'all have the best mom. Can I have a mom like that? Actually, I did. I mean, can you mom yourself? No. I don't think so. It seems hard. You cannot mom yourself. Uh, some people do. No. Yeah. It does not work that Some way. people don't get to have a mom. And I'm sorry. What? Well, it's true. Everybody has a mom. No. Everybody has everybody a mother. Everybody has a mom. Everybody it's... who has some. Everybody has somebody that birthed them. Not everybody has oh a mom. Oh my God! No, do not start the whole birthing thing again because we are not birthing people. I don't think just because you a have a child that means you're a mom. You're still a mother. It doesn't mean you're a good mom. It means you're Me a mother. But... Yeah, but there's a difference between a mother and a mom. But. You're Not for me, because I'm lucky that I got a decent mom. Thanks. But I'm just saying, just because you birthed another human does not give you any right or ability to be their mom. I didn't say you were a good mom, but you're still... I'm saying you're not a human mom. being. Hmm. No. If if you don't treat them like a... If, you still you're not, gave birth. You're not on the same side as TikTok as I am. I there, know, there are we've some had this conversation. That are not fortunate enough to have a good mom. I I realize that. And my mom. Was they not don't. They perfect. don't deserve the title of mom. That's what I'm trying to say. But they still gave birth. That gives them no rights. I didn't say gave them rights. I said it, they still gave birth. Good for them. Okay. And. But I just have zero tolerance whenever it comes to. An innocent child like they didn't have a choice you just said abortion is great though last week so i know make but, up your mind yeah if they had chose to abort it or not okay i've been thinking about this okay you know how you were like if the fetus has rights you're wrong a baby has rights as well no bet. you said a fetus because they weren't the born yet it's they're not right. born yet right they're still so, a child no listen okay. to this okay this argument path right uh -huh. Illegal immigrants, do they have rights as a citizen? Of the United States? No. Because they're not a citizen of the United States. Right. Because... You're a citizen of the United States if you, one, pass a test and get citizenship, or two, are born in the United States. Actually, that was not a thing. That is a thing. Actually, it was not. It started to be a thing, and then they decided, oh crap, these women are coming over here just to have a baby. And that's where the uh, no no I'm not I'm not talking about the mothers I'm not talking about the no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about that child they are not they had to have a mother to be born I know but, but they're a citizen of the United States when you're born in the United States you and me are citizens because we were born here right, right. because it's we were born here rights because we were born here because our parents were so you are not the United a citizen until you were born. You're still a person. It doesn't you're not, because you don't have any paperwork. You're not a citizen of the United States, therefore you're not protected by the United States Constitution. When you are born... Yes, when you're born. When your parents <laughs> of birth the United you. States birth you in the United States, yes, you have so, inalienable rights. Yes, once you're born. You, you don't do have... Not you're not... You don't have rights until you're born. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Okay. When a mother gets... When a mother gets killed and she is pregnant, they are put on trial for a double homicide. Because that baby was born. No, the baby is in her and she so, died. So take that off the table. So, it's just one homicide. Fine, whatever. But I'm just saying, oh. you don't have rights until you're a citizen of the United States. You're not a citizen until you have a birth certificate. You don't have a birth certificate until you're fucking born. So you don't think an unborn child should have any rights? is what you're saying. According to our constitution, you don't. No, I'm asking you what you think. No, I don't. I think it's up to the mom. And we both agreed on that last, the other week, is that I think that the government needs to be out of our uterus and yes. we need to stop talking about what other people do with their medical I, I saw an interesting TikTok about that and this is where I was talking about a little flippantly earlier, where they were like, you know, no, the choice on abortion shouldn't be by country. It should be by the state, because each state is different. But, you know, really, people within the state are different in each county, so right. maybe it should be by each county. But really, people in that county are different from their neighbors, so maybe it should be each household. But really, people in households don't agree either, so maybe it should be by each person. I figured it out. Every person should get to decide for themselves. I'm like, yeah, 
Thank you. The government needs to get out of our uterus. Which, granted, I don't have one. I want to know why they give the shit so much about what's in mind. Like, just to... Why do you care? Because women are using it Why don't you go solve some, like, debt in the U.S. before you start talking about how many... Like... Because women are using how, it for how are you gonna say that like control. we don't need to be worried about the climate change, but also you need to have more? Ch there's enough people on this planet. Can we all can we all agree to that? There's there's enough people no. on this planet. No. There's there's enough. No. Um, we're actively destroying it, so maybe we take no. care of the people that are already here no. before we worry about the people that aren't here. My thing is that they actually cared about like women's health or whatever, and that's the reason why they were doing it. They would just enact uh, forced vasectomies. If they care about women's health, then they would not have, they would not they frown on women wanting to have a hysterectomy or to Exactly. Tie. Because exactly. I can guarantee you for a fat, a woman cannot walk into a doctor's office and ask for a, white a tubal. No, any woman cannot walk into a doctor's office and ask for a tubal or a hysterectomy. It took me 20 years to get a hysterectomy okay because my doctor would not give it to me because I only was on my first marriage. Mm -hmm. I only had two girls. And what was the other? Oh, I was too young. We we know somebody in on JD's family that's the same thing. She has a literal growth on the yep. outside of her uterus and yes. they will not take it out because she was not married and didn't have children. Yep. And she, it's literally actively killing yep. her to have it in her body and they yep. will not take it out. If they cared about women's health, then they would but, allow women to make their own health decisions. Exactly. And they don't. They do not. This has, If that, a man was like, I want a vasectomy, they're like, done, sold. They can get a vasectomy at 19 years old. They, they can do whatever they freaking want. And it's like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding yeah. me? And That's and the ridiculous The reason why I added the white yeah. woman thing it's is... It's not just white women. I, or, I, I mean, black women. That asked for it. But I'm just saying there are some cases where women of color were forced into hysterectomies without a choice. And that's a huge problem within the Actually, color, the people of color communities. I've is heard that, Indian culture is that way. Yeah, is that they didn't get a choice. They were just, you know, um, what is neutered essentially? What is the word? That's not the word. Distract me. Well, I know, but like they were just taken out of the equation. They didn't get a choice. They were just told. They went in for to get their appendix removed and then they were oh. just like, Oopsie Daisy, yeah. we accidentally removed everything. It's like, excuse me, you fucking crazy. Well, and how, there is like, how, have you not lost your license? In older, I don't know if they still do this. There was apparently it's still a problem. For no, me. I'm saying that if you got an abortion, one abortion, then they would give you a hysterectomy because obviously if you can't handle getting having one child if you can't have a, handle yeah, having right. a child at 14 you can never handle having right. a child like are you fucking get, right whatever so Ugh. i think that the government just needs to get out of our uterus and i think that parents... well i just don't understand there, this has never been a question about men's right. like right. sexual health exactly. why is no why not exactly why aren't we talking about exactly. men can fucking have if, if men slept with a woman every single day of the year and got her pregnant, just one woman every single day of the right. year and got them pre pregnant every time, he can produce 365 children sure. in one year. Yep. Women can only produce one and a half children a year what? if they got pregnant every single time they were you they know, free to have as soon as they gave birth. You know what I mean? Yeah. They can only have one baby a year. One point you know, three, whatever. They three can only have one baby a year. But yeah, basically. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, as soon as they got pregnant, the average would be 1.3 because nine months plus an extra three months. It's actually is, months, isn't but, okay. Well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, yes. if we go off the nine I month know. bullshit yes. and you know, whatever, they can only have one. Right. So why are men not the problem? Because it you. seems like men are the problem. I agree. This country we live in is stupid. Well, it was funny because whenever I was looking up other countries to move to, um, that would be better than the U.S. Mexico actually came up on the list. And now I'm wondering if like our vision of Mexico is so warped Go because of propaganda. I heard it's great. I know a lot of people that have visited Mexico. It depends on where you go. Oh well, I mean, yeah, that's any country though, right? And that's any town. I mean, you can exactly. go to any town and there's going to be places where uh, you shouldn't be here. Yeah. And there's going to be places where, you know, it's just the tourist area and you should probably stay just in the tourist area. 
it's just interesting to me because I've I've thought my whole life like Mexico is this hellscape that nobody will ever want to go. To. But I work with Towns people in Mexico. Yeah. Well, I know, but it's just that's just my perception oh. growing up here in America, okay. in Oklahoma, where anybody from Mexico is obviously from the cartel or blah blah what? blah. That's just how they've always perceived it to us, especially in like school and stuff. Like Mexico was. Mexico bad, U.S. good, <laughs> you know? Canada, a bunch of two-gooders, like, that's just how it's always been perceived Canada in school. Two-gooders? You know? That's, just, that's what it is. Canada are nice people. Most of nice people. Uh, but, but, not, I you can't, I don't think beings. you can generalize, generalize anybody. I think that we need to stop making the boxes, you know? Well, I mean. We need to stop acting like well it, it should be less box. about like stereotypes and more about like no this country actually does care about their their people because look at all the health reforms every and country the social cares about their people because that's how they get their taxes so... i don't believe that's true actually there's some countries that do not give a shit no they do care because they want to keep their people there because well yeah they want to lock them money. they want to lock them in the yeah. box that doesn't mean they yeah. give a shit about them no they do that's what they want to do with them so. no they just want numbers that's like the U.S. They just want numbers. They don't give a shit about no. it. No. Yes. I don't believe that. Okay. I do not believe that. Hey. Well, see, you're the rose-colored glasses, and I'm the realist, so no. I don't know. I, I have a basic understanding that most people are not good people, and you, I, I think a lot, that's the biggest lie any parent can tell any child, is that the world is made up of mostly good people, you just gotta find them, like, I no, think it's not. Tell, I think people show you if they're good or not. They will show Some people you. are really good at lying. Narcissists. Back to the narcissists. <laughs> No, I do like the fact that I can talk to you kids and not have you guys, like, hate me for something I believe, or... The only thing I get annoyed with you is, on the religion, is you get pretty deep and pretty harsh with me on it, and I think that that's... But, if you, if you're it's religious... not something that I'm going to say, oh my god, I'm never talking but, to you again, because I think right. that's stupid. But, like, at the same time, if your religious beliefs are so fragile that me saying it's that not I don't. Fragile. Well, I know. I'm oh, not saying sorry. you. Go ahead. Sorry. I'm saying sorry. anybody. Sorry. If your religious beliefs are so fragile that somebody else, like, having a discussion with you about right. it, that's. You need to figure out your shit. Because that's not on me. That's you and your religion. Right. You need to figure out why you're so fragile about right. it. Because obviously your conviction is not as strong as you believe it is. No, I'm saying when you make fun of me. I'm not I don't, saying I don't, my conviction. Cause I, have I will say that I have religion. probably in the past because I have a lot of religious drama. Yes. And a lot of the ways that I deal with that is by deflecting our humor. Yeah. So it is hard for me sometimes. But I will say I am actively trying not to do that. Because I do understand that people do need religion. And yes. I get that. But it... It's not something that I will ever understand meeting because I just don't. And that's that's okay. Right? That's okay. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. There's no reason to need religion. I mean, you don't have to have religion. See, and that's, There are good I people that don't that go through their whole lives without having a rule book and they're still good people. I like having my religion, but I don't go around and try and put it down somebody's yeah, throat either because exactly. I think that's ridiculous. You're never going to convince somebody to do something, or you're never going not to convince. You're never going to have somebody see your side of something if you can't see their side of it. If your goal is to brainwash and gaslight them, they're never going to trust you. I didn't say that. But... I know, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, if if your goal is to trick them into your religion or fearmonger them into your religion, they're right. never going to trust that religion or believe in it fully the way you do because the way you found it was in a wholesome, my normal, way. yeah, it, it, you came to it on your own. Right. And that's all the way you came That's why I never understood people who are like, if you are on a Christian, you're going to hell. I'm like, why are you fear mongering? That's not going to get anybody to agree with you. <laughs> like scared people aren't people willing to change. You right. know what I mean? Ugh. Insane to me. I don't, Sanity. some people I don't understand. I don't know why they go about things that they go about, but it is their prerogative. They can do what they want. Yeah, your um, rights go as far as mine. Like, just leave me exactly. out of it. Exactly. You want to have religion, that's fine. It's you problem. 
Not only problem, it's a new problem. Every time Bug talks about uh, he'll say that he misses Bella. And we'll be like, but he's in stop. I say he's in heaven with Roscoe and Molly and um Ba or uh, Bubba. And he'll go, really? Yeah, he's up there playing with them. Okay. Is he coming back? No. Ain't no return on that one. Shitty mechanics, if you ask me. Even in video games, you can respawn. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to teach him because he's very into... They die. And I'm like, oh, they just need a doctor. Because he's very into things dying right now. And I'm like, yeah, but that's kind of... To be fair, he's seen a lot of, like, not human death, obviously. He has seen a lot of death in his life. A lot of death so, in his very short life. And I'm like, no, when you die, you can't come back, Bob. It's, it's, no, no. I said, maybe they just need a doctor. Yeah, they need a doctor. Okay, let's, let's get him a doctor then. So let's, let's not go with this one. Let's not talk about death. No, it's not that we don't want to talk about it. I don't want him to think that you could just come back. You know, you can just... Well, you can in video games. Yeah, you can. But nobody will teach him how to play a video game, so... Because he has sucky aunts and uncles and I volunteer and at jats. <laughs> What? Nobody lets me play video games with him. Let's you? Let's you. No what, one what lets I, you? What, what am I going to play video games? No with? one lets you. Say that again. No. Okay, I'm kidnapping my nephew so he can come over here and play video games. Okay. Okay, good. It's not Monday through Friday. <laughs> or Saturday. <laughs> Sunday's my day off. I'm just kidding. Exactly. Are you telling me they don't have a gaming console in their house? Yes, they do. Kind they do not show him how to play it. Backwards house they live in in over there. I can guarantee you by five years old you guys know how to use a gaming console. We got a computer in. I think you were in. Underclass? No, I was not young. Um. Sam was in kindergarten. Was it kindergarten? I I know that one of the games we had was a kindergarten game, but I don't think we were in. Kindergarten. No, I don't think. We were. But I think we had a computer before we had a PlayStation. See, I don't think so. But could be wrong. I. Evidently. You were an adult. I was not. The very last piece I put in will be the piece on the floor. That way. Oh, is that way you can put it in? I can put it in. I offer piece. last puzzle. I can't. I was ordering. Like, I was going to take that from you. Oh, my God. Of course, now it's my fault. I didn't say it was I'm your never, fault. I'm never putting the last piece in it. Oh, my again. God. Did I say it was your fault? They heard Why the tone. Why so dramatic? They heard it. They understand. No, they didn't. That's because okay. You're Next dramatic. week you'll be like, well, I watched it back and I was being crazy. <laughs> no, you're dramatic. I'm not dramatic. You're dramatic. If I am, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> so are you dramatic or are you not? <laughs> Either way, you lose. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh. I don't think I'm a very emotional person sometimes. No, not at all. But then sometimes. I'm, yeah. I don't think you're emotional at all. I've been called a robot more than once in my life. Well, that's because more you more than a dozen times. Never got sick. No, I've been called an emotional robot. But it's really? only because I don't open up to people easily. So if I'm an emotional robot about uh, around you, it's probably a you thing. I don't want to say it's your fault, but it's probably it's because fault. either one, you're exhausting me and I can't be around you for long periods of time, or two, you're a terrible human being. I don't like you. I'll say I don't. I don't need friends. Pretty.
I've been doing that all week though. I'll drop him off at school and I'll go home and crash all day long, have my alarm set for to pick him up and I go pick him up and then we run 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 and do stuff and then I go home. He I'm not gonna lie. I, go back to I got like twelve hours of sleep last night. As I I said something I about going home and taking a nap the other day that cool. I didn't end up okay. doing. Yeah. And I said it again yesterday, and Joel's, uh, he was like, do you do you actually get to go home and take a nap? I was like, if I feel like it. And he's like, that must be nice. And I was like, it is. Yeah. I've set my life up in a way in which I can do said thing. <laughs> You're dumb if you did it. I don't know. Not my problem. You're back. This life thing. <laughs> like, if you haven't set up your life into which you can go home after work and take a nap, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> and I'm sorry. And that is all your fault. And try again, you fail. Do not trust men. Close your legs. <laughs> wow. It's not even where I was going with that. Oh. Just, like, find a way. <laughs> I, I, There's a coworker I have where she takes a nap in her car at lunch. Yeah. And I'm like, that's genius. I could never do it, though. And plus, it's freaking hot right now. Yeah. This week has been insane. 100 degrees. Nearly 100 degrees. Yeah. It... I can honestly say that I was not ready for the weather at all. I don't think anybody was, was. It was just like... Not prepared. Summertime! Let's go on a breeze. Like, it's May! What do you mean <laughs> summer? Not June. That means this summer is gonna be so bad. I know. It's gonna be hot. And I'm not looking forward to it. Next thing you know, you start with the cousin up a storm. Oh my gosh. No cursing. I think that's why I don't have a problem with it, is because that Because I do. You well no, it's just that you don't and it was never really used against me, maybe. Oh. Well, I mean, I have, I, when I quit cursing, I don't have it was trauma with hard. Customers. <laughs> it was hard to quit cursing. I, I'll admit that. It was really hard. Yeah, it's a Cause form of self-expression. It would be hard. You could use those words so helpfully on a lot of things. So, mm -hmm. so helpful. I just don't see it as... I guess I don't have any trauma related to it. I don't have trauma related to it. I just think it's really you villainized. It's I too. don't. I just Everybody think it's has trauma. Oh my god. Why does everything have to be trauma? Well, have you ever taken a psychology class? No. I've never been to college. Well, I walked into I took college it in high school. the first time with you. I, I mean, I took psychology in high school and also college, but I took it in high school first. Ding! We did it! I think that's the fastest we've done about a piece. Yeah, this is a good puzzle. Well, I think coming off such a hard puzzle, I like... So we did a nice easy puzzle. Color is nice. Bye, guys.